Going for a walk in the city is a way to pass the time. You never know the stories you might run into or the art you just stumble upon among the buildings and busy people. Lori Zimmer and Maria Krasinski are always looking to discover and share what they've seen on their walks around Manhattan. One favorite is the Jean Dubuffet uh, group of four trees. It just looks like a coloring book come to life in three dimensions. The statue has been at Chase Manhattan Plaza at the corner of Pine and Williams in Lower Manhattan since 1972. It's one of 101 special spots featured in their new book titled Art Hiding in New York. Lori started writing it a decade ago after she lost her job. I spent a lot of time just walking around because I never had time to walk around New York and started taking notice of all the amazing art, went home and researched it. She and Maria have been friends since they were nine years old. The book was born during a visit when Maria brought out some of her drawings. It's a little bit more playful and fun. So rather than go with historical photographs or some things that don't even exist, illustrations kind of brought it to life. There are surprising spots. This sidewalk at 25 Bond Street has a story carved there by the artist to resemble a river. I also really love the things that aren't explicitly public art, but it may be this building has historical significance that you don't know, or an artist lived there, or that's where they would go. Now's the time to take notice and take note of art hiding in New York. We didn't know it was gonna come out during a pandemic, but we're all stuck here and it's the perfect time to rediscover the city that we live in. With Lori and Maria, your next walk will not be the same. In Lower Manhattan, Greg Mocker, Pix11 News.